If you have a Porsche Cayenne and the tank doesn't stay up, okay, it just goes down. Stay with us, we'll explain how we can easily fix that today. Hey guys, welcome back to Auto Repair guys. Thank you guys for watching and subscribing to the channel. Today will be a super helpful video to any of you guys having a Porsche Cayenne. We're talking about that for a generation from year 2002 all the way to year 2010. If you want to see how to remove and replace the trunk, strut, support, shocks, stay with us. We'll explain how to, do that, how to do that in this video today. You saw how ours drops once you lift it up. Without holding it, you just falls. That's very dangerous. So with us, we'll explain step by step how we can do that guys. Now, another thing. Uh, before we continue, let me tell you a little bit about us. Every single car we get here at the garage, we try to make at least two to 300 free repair videos, guys. We take them completely apart, we show you how to fix pretty much anything. Why we do that? Because our mission at the shop is to save you as much money as we can. All we need, guys, in return, please subscribe to the channel, like the video, that way we can keep making these absolutely free videos. And if you need to buy any parts, tools for your Porsche Cayenne at a really good price, strut, shock, support, we'll put the links in the description of the video below where you can get them from. So, let's go ahead and start on it now. So whether you guys are replacing the main strut shock supports on the lift gate or the window shocks guys, the procedure is practically the same. We will recommend to do both of them at the same time, otherwise you will be redoing the job again. You don't want to do that guys, okay, because it will take a little bit of work. So let's go ahead and explain what we need to do now. So now guys, we have our headliner removed. Why? Because our was sagging. So we decided to redo our headliner. We did the Alcantara style headliner, which is amazing by the way. And also uh, uh, while it was down and we redid it. Okay, we have one piece of fuzzy here. We guys did the starlight kit on it as well. So 300 starlights installed here. We'll have video coming on that as well. If you want to see how to remove the headliner, the video will be on our channel. You don't have to remove it, but you may need to drop it down, okay, to get to it. We will explain why. Right here now, guys, okay, let us show you. Uh, when you open the trunk, okay, you can see the headliner usually will be here. You have these two covers. That's where your shocks will be. Now, I'll get the uh, screwdriver in just a second, but let me show you something. I left it uh, there, okay, let me open here let's hold here for a second okay and i want to show you here okay uh, if you try to look through the hole you practically don't see almost anything you see the top of the shocks but you don't see them you cannot pull them out and on this side as well uh, we have the other cover removed but i think we will not need to even remove that cover let me grab the screwdriver quick and show you okay what we will need to do now so i'll come to the inside now and here we have one cover that we need to remove okay that plastic thing here so one screw with torx 25 i think one over there careful that's the airbags airbags can kill you guys so no metal tools around them don't mess with the wires because they can explode okay let's see if that mount will come down okay if we have one more one more three screws so remember how you remove them because that's how we will need to install everything later as well. Perfect. Now if you come right here and right here guys, this is one of the covers. <laughs> this one has been redone. I think it has black glue. I'm not sure. It's kind of like, okay, cracked here. So it's fine. We're going to glue it later again. So we'll grab it from here and pull it out. And right here guys, that's where your struts are, both of them. One on top, one on the bottom. So how do we guys, okay, how do we guys remove those? Okay, let's explain that now. We're going to start with the little one. So the little one, I'll just get a prying bar now. Okay, and I'll have a person open the window on the outside. Okay, let's go ahead on the outside and open the window. It needs to be in an open position, guys. Okay, open position. So let's go ahead and open the window all the way. Okay, you cannot, okay, yep. Okay, open, open, okay, like that. Okay, let's see now. Uh, right here, you see you have that metal plate that we need to pull out with a small screwdriver so let me see if I can grab it now here it's very limited room by the way I almost got it 
Huh? Don't go back in. Okay, that one came out on this side. And I should be able to pull it out. Perfect. You can see it came out. Now, let's bring it down a little bit. Down, down, down now. Okay, so oh, oh, a little bit more. Okay, perfect. We can close it. So now I can grab that plate on this side. Oh, no, 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 no. Bring it down because I cannot reach like that. It's going to break my fingers here. Okay. And... And this one came out, guys. Okay, you can see that choke is out. Perfect. We can get another one now. Okay, let me not drop it because, okay, I'm gonna get everything dirty with grease. So, what we have to do now, grab the new one. Okay, let me pull one out. And we're going to continue now installing it. So, let me see. Okay, the other one will come in the other way. Okay, uh, which direction I pulled it out now. So, let me see if I can come here now, if I can fit through here. Okay, perfect, one is out. Now we need to go outside. We need to open the window all the way. Once we open it, I'll be able to push that part here on the inside. So let me see if we can do that. Let me set the camera. Where you can see, open, 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 open. And still needs a little bit more. Let's see if we can pull both of them. Maybe we together with the uh, with the trunk lid, okay? Because it's still a little bit long. So let's pull a little bit with the trunk lid together, okay? Uh, pull more, okay? A little bit more. Ah, it's right there. So all I have to do just push it in, but I don't need two hands for that. So let me see that. So we open the window only guys, okay, with the window only and one person will keep holding it to where it can adjust, okay, let's see now, a little bit up, okay, it went in, okay, one is in, so now we replaced only one and let, let, let us show you something, okay, I got tangled here, give me one second, with only one window guys, with one window shock replaced, okay, the window doesn't stay up. It's better, but it doesn't. Let's go ahead and explain. Uh, do actually this is the same thing to the other one and see if that will fix it. Next, uh, we're going to go ahead and open the trunk. We're going to do that big one now, guys. Okay, because uh, otherwise, okay, we, we want to be done here to make sure that you don't have to do them in specific order. We're going to remove that spring now here. Okay. This one should come out now. If I get the prying tube, let me see now. Okay. I think it it's about to come out. Maybe, let me see if the spring is here a little bit, still holding. Yep, it's still holding that spring. Came out, okay, on that end. Let's support it there. No, let's go in. Let's go all the way in now. We, we can close it. Okay, perfect. Close, 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 all the way. Yep, like that. Now, I can go ahead and disconnect that spring on top. And the whole shock came out, guys. Okay, right there. Big mess. Watch all the oil that they leaked out. Okay, I'm going to get a new shock now. For the trunk. Okay, let me get a replacement one quick. And we're going to see, okay, to install it now make sure the uh, ball joints are clean we're going to go ahead get this one in okay now we need to go on the outside we need to open the trunk okay and once we open the trunk okay it should 
we should be able to come here a little bit more if we can yep okay wait now a second a little bit more okay i need to just get the pairing tool now to push it in okay guys i just pushed it with my hands while one person was praying on the trunk all the way up now uh, it still falls we're going to do the same thing on this side now not to waste your time and see if that will fix the problem so we guys replaced both of them here as well you can see both of them are brand new let me come on the outside now i want to show you okay let's close everything close it open the window let's see if it stands up now perfect you can see that took care of that problem let's see if we can open the trunk if it's going to stand up careful it might take your nose off it's the, it flies pretty fast because everything is brand new so that's how you guys fix trunk that doesn't stay open or uh, the window that doesn't stay open here on a porsche cayenne so we always recommend to replace both of them at the same time due to the fact guys that they tend to fail about at the same time all four shocks practically failed in less than one year on this porsche cayenne uh, if you guys uh, uh, have any any questions let us know hopefully the video will be helpful uh, yeah, we have probably more than 300 uh, free repair videos on that porsche cayenne everything like uh, the weak spot is a phone differential to uh, engine mounts multiple things guys practically we took almost the whole car apart thank you for watching see you next time